Good morning, sisters. Uh, the intentions for Holy Mass this morning for all our bishops, priests, and religious. For Asnath Mposi, and for all those recommended to our prayers, and for the repose of the souls of Nina Carbon, Virginia Tabang, and Mark Rensberg, and those who died recently, for the souls in purgatory, and for peace in the world. See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart. And praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon and peace. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that, made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may ever be watchful in keeping your commands through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, when the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, the mind of Pharaoh and his servants was changed toward the people, and they said, What is this we have done, that we have let Israel go from serving us? So he made ready his chariot and took his army with him, and took 600 picked chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt with officers over all of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he pursued the sons of Israel as they went forth defiantly. The Egyptians pursued them, all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and his horsemen and his army and overtook them in camp at the sea by Pihahiroth in front of Baal Zevon. When Pharaoh drew near, the sons of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them. They were in great fear. And the sons of Israel cried out to the Lord, and they said to Moses, is it because there are no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us in bringing us out of Egypt? Is not this that we said to you in Egypt? Let us alone and let us serve the Egyptians, for it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. 
the Lord will fight for you and you have only to be still. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the sons of Israel to go forward, lift up your rod, and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the sons of Israel may go on dry ground through the sea. And I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they shall go in after them. And I will get close to <coughs> Pharaoh and all his hosts, his chariots and his horsemen, and the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord. When I have gotten glory over Pharaoh, his chariots, and his horsemen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider has, he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host he cast into the sea, and his pit officers are sunk in the Red Sea. I will sing to the Lord, he has triumphed gloriously. The floods covered them, they went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, glorious in power, your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. I will sing to the Lord, for he has done triumphed gloriously. Alleluia. Today harden not your hearts, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign shall be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And behold, something greater than Jonah is here. The Queen of the South will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, Something greater than Solomon is here. The Gospel of the Lord. Perhaps we don't think about it so much because it's so common, but we use signs a great deal and we learn to live with signs. So when you see on the back of a motor car, I, and then a heart, and then Cape Town, you know it means I love Cape Town. The heart is so simple and universal sign of love. 
And of course, in our engagement with one another, we're always looking for signs, even subconsciously, a sign of affection, a sign perhaps of pardon, a sign that somebody's in good form today, or maybe a sign that they're not, a sign of pardon, a sign of hope, all sorts of things, even a sign to cross the road, green, a green light. So signs are embedded in, in our world, in our mind, in our intellect. Solomon was a sign of wisdom. Jonah was a sign of God's deliverance, even if he was a fictional or literary figure. The uh, story hinges around the sign of his rescue and of his successful preaching of repentance, even though he was a reluctant prophet. And the reality, of course, in the New Testament is that there were signs in abundance for those with eyes to see. All the miracles of Jesus, his beautiful teaching, these were all signs of the kingdom of God, the new style that he was showing people how to live. But the biggest and greatest and most permanent sign of all was Jesus himself. He was the sign of God, the sign of the kingdom, the sign of holiness and truth. And so for us, it is our faith in Jesus that helps us to see him as the supreme sign. It's been said that only a converted heart, a heart turned towards God, can receive this sign, can interpret this sign. The sign that Jesus is in our lives. And so the path to understanding and appreciating and welcoming the sign of all signs is humility. Humility and gentleness of heart, which Jesus invites us to, is the way to the Father. May we always find this sign, living sign, in our life, each day of our lives. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered in honour of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we proclaim your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As Jesus taught us, so we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I am not worthy. That you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.